what's happening. This is Joshua Boetsy and you're watching Sports and Icons. Okay, so Lyndon Arthur first Anthony Yard, the rematch. Was it about them or was it about Pat Barrett versus Tunde Ejayi? Who knows, you decide. Now, this fight, I like Lyndon Arthur. I've always liked Lyndon Arthur. I think he's got skills to burn. He's got a tremendous heart. He's got an excellent jab, excellent footwork. He's got a lot going for him. He really does. But in this rematch, I don't know what it is, what his game plan was. As I said before, it seems to be that the whole build-up was about Pat Barrett versus Tunde Ejayi. It's almost like the shine was taken away from the fighters. And I don't necessarily blame Tunde Ejayi. I think Pat Barrett, not that he was intentionally doing it, but I think that he was eating from his own plate, from his own hype. He had, you know, he, he got a couple of good fighters, Lyndon Arthur, Zelfa Barrett and whatever else that he's doing quite well with, suddenly he's a world-class trainer. Suddenly he's this, that and the other. And I think he was starting to believe in his own hype. Hopefully now he's going to be a little bit more humble about things. Because, I mean, I've met Pat Barrett. I've interviewed him. Um, he, he comes across as a cool guy. But at the same time, what was the plan? What was the game plan with Lyndon Arthur? Absolutely no idea. It seemed that he, he was just going to try and do what he'd done in the first fight. Just use a jab, throw the overhand right once in a while, or straight right once in a while. But when Anthony Yard came out in round number one and just put it on him, I think something happened to Lyndon Arthur. I think something inside went, uh oh. I think he panicked, to be honest with you. I think that's what happened. I don't know what advice was given to him in the corner after each round. Okay, the fight only went four rounds, unfortunately, for Lyndon Arthur, but I don't know what. The game plan was i genuinely don't know because he, he just seemed to just put up his gloves and allow anthony yard to throw punches it's one thing to do that when you're a little bit deeper into the fight when maybe anthony yard's punching power isn't as strong as what it would be earlier on but anthony yard is still fresh in the first couple of rounds he's going to be fresh now was the game plan to let anthony yard punch himself out gas himself out of course, what happened with Kovalev, was that the plan? Maybe. If it was, it, then it backfired. That was a wrong game plan, for sure. It could be a good game plan if Henry Yard can't land on you, but he was landing on him, and he landed on him um, a couple of times. And as I said, I think something happened to Lyndon Arthur inside where he panicked. He did panic. Now, up to this point, of course, Anthony Yard, he backs up Lyndon Arthur. Again, Lyndon Arthur, I don't know why he just was like static with his back against the ropes. I, I don't know why he did that. He's got good footwork. He can get out of, out of there quite easily. Of the many fights that um, I've seen him in, he can get out of that position. But he didn't because he backed up and he wasn't hurt when he backed up. Or at least he didn't look like he was hurt. But he just let Anthony Yard just throw punches. And they were getting through. Anthony Yard was a little bit wild, a little bit reckless. He was there to be counterpunched, but something that Lyndon Arthur didn't really do. Don't get me wrong, Lyndon Arthur, he did land a couple of good shots on Anthony Yard as well. But in round number four, he just collapsed. He really did. Now, was it a premature stoppage? Maybe, maybe. But at the same time, Lyndon Arthur, he didn't really complain. So maybe he was more hurt than what he looked. We can certainly say that. But either way, listen, congratulations to Anthony Yard. He took that loss to Lyndon Arthur, and he bounced back from it. That's what you do. You look at it, you assess it, and you bounce back. Should it have happened immediately? Yeah, arguably. Is it unfair that it happened in London? Maybe, maybe. But again, you have to look at it. As much as Pat Barrett, and Pat Barrett told me before that he's very, very good friends with Frank Warren. This is Anthony Yard. Don't think for one second that Frank Warren didn't want Anthony Yard to win? Of course he did. Of course he did. I don't care what his friendship is with Pat Barrett. He wanted Anthony Yard to win. Anthony Yard is somebody who's quite popular. He's got a decent name about him. You've got his trainer and manager in Tunde Ejayi. Again, he's got his own um, podcast with Spencer Fearon or Stamina for Sale, all that kind of stuff. So they've also got like their own brand. That's important to Frank Warren. It is about numbers. It is about ticket sales. It is about that. So, of course, he wanted Anthony Yard to win. 
But Lyndon Arthur, he did get the win first time round. Should he be able to have the right to have the rematch in Manchester, his home, t his hometown, his home city? Of course. But that is what it is. Maybe the occasion got to him. Maybe. Because I believe that this was his first fight with a crowd, if I remember rightly. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyway, I can't talk too much about this fight because I said it only went four rounds. But Anthony Yard has came out the blocks swinging and was quite, quite clearly looking for the early knockout. Ultimately it came, so congratulations to Anthony Yard. Very good performance, his game plan was right. Put it on him, at some point one might land through. And that's ultimately what happened. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.